Justin flying business class for the first time in his life. Wichtig, nachdem du gerade dein sechs Frühstück hattest, oder? Und Wodka O. Und Wodka O. Good morning and welcome to a new video. I am at Hanover Airport. It seems that all my videos tend to start at airports. This time I'm actually not alone, even though I'm vlogging by myself, because I'm with Justin. Justin, think mal. A few things are gonna happen in this video. Number one, Justin is gonna have his first business class experience, because we are going on a trip um, to another country here in Europe um, with Mazda. We've never done anything with Mazda before, so I'm really hyped to see what's going on because we are, and that's the second thing that we're gonna do in this video, we're gonna take part in a workshop, a photography workshop. Number three, we are gonna have a look at a cool Mazda that I wanted to have a look at for a very, very long time, but unfortunately they couldn't give me the car because it was brand new when I was going to Croatia on a road trip this summer. So yeah, that's uh, what we're gonna do in this video and Like I said, we're gonna start with Justin flying business class for the first time in his life, which is gonna be quite entertaining, I think. Have fun watching this. Ziehst du das jetzt erstmal durch mit dem Champagner? Ja, mach das. Guten Appetit. Guten. So, since the flight is gonna be a little delayed, Justin decided that he wanna have a vodka with orange juice. That's not a problem. <lacht> Kannst du kurz einmal auf Menü zeigen, wie spät das ist? 11.50 Uhr. Gut. Prost, ne? 50.50, ne? <lacht> Dorfmische. Ich finde das auch sehr wichtig, dass man auf einem 30-Minuten-Flug entspannt erstmal hier was zu essen bekommt. Auch wichtig, nachdem du gerade dein Sektfrühstück hattest, oder? Und Wodka O. Und Wodka <lacht> So we're making a quick pit stop in Frankfurt because if you want to fly Lufthansa business class, just like Justin today, then uh, you get the full experience when also visiting the lounges in Frankfurt because it's Lufthansa's headquarters. And we just got the hint from a Lufthansa employee that if you want to get the full full experience, you got to go to the Panorama Lounge, which is what we're doing right now. Wir fahren hier also vorne mit einem Rindergulasch, ähm, Frankfurter Kartoffelsalat, eine Spezie, die ich aus Versehen falsch rum gemischt habe. <lacht> Sorry. Äh, und das ist Spekulatius-Creme von nach Omas Rezept stand da mit Orangen irgendwas. Stich. Das, das wie viel der Essen ist das jetzt heute, was du isst? <laughs> so I think I mentioned what company we we're working with but I didn't mention where are we going which is Amsterdam as you can't tell right now machen wir kurz so ein touristy pick mach mal so arme hoch
Good morning from inside the Mazda ZX60 that we just received. We have some good news and some bad news. The good news is I haven't seen such a great looking hotel in a really long time because they literally had, as you might have seen, a, a jungle inside and it was it was really a pleasure to stay there the bad news is that Lufthansa actually cancelled our flight yeah as of right now we don't have a plan how to get home but we'll see we'll see about that later on we're driving in fully electric mode to the event location where we're gonna take part in that photo workshop and I'm really excited to see actually what what we're gonna do because I heard something about external lighting using flashlights and stuff usually we don't really have time to make any kind of experiments when creating content so I'm really excited to see about that Just to sum it up real quick, as you might have seen in the B-roll, it's really difficult to find the right setting of course because it's really about fine tuning and then going back and forth and trying everything out and I noticed right away that I don't really have the patience to do it. It's, it's really cool that I can change the light color which obviously I can't change the color of the sunlight but it's just really really you need a lot of patience and it takes a really long time to get everything set up it was a fun experiment thanks to René van der Hoot who is way more experienced of course in shooting in such a studio scene uh, as I am as you saw so now that I can get some more motivation and actually create some 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 good looking content we're gonna go outside take the car and dive into the urban scenery of Amsterdam Mazda, as I was told, has put a lot of effort into actually getting the color into the red tone that it has right now. There's like many, uh, many layers of particles so you get the metallic look and it, it was just really difficult for, for them to get the color to look that way. But I think they did a really great job because when you see the sun catching all these, uh, all these um, details at the side. What's more important though is a few gadgets that I didn't know yet because German car brands tend to stay with the gadgets and the features they, they have and which are established but Mazda actually went kind of like another way. Let me show you these one or two features that I found. So right now we're gonna start by opening the trunk right here and I have placed my MacBook there. I think I'm kind of low on battery so we're gonna open that up and if I'm on the run then having a battery that is about to run out that's really something you don't want when editing photos so we're gonna plug in the charger right here and then there is a power outlet many cars have that but most of them you can't use to charge devices like laptops so we are gonna push this button AC 1500 watts which means that you have enough power to charge your laptop so we're gonna plug it in there and as you can see the MacBook is charging now. Coming to the second feature I found, which is really cool when you are sharing the car with another person. So right now Justin has done a setup for a person that is really tall. This time we called it, we called it the rock. See, you can go to settings and then go to driver personalization system. And right now the setup is called the rock. If I get into the car, and if I have saved my setup before, the car is gonna scan my face and the car knows me, which means that it is then going to change all the settings that I can adjust to. So like the seat, the steering wheel, you see it comes out now. Also the mirrors at the side and your music taste and, and stuff like that. It's gonna adjust all of this 
just by scanning my face. So if Justin now gets back in here, it's gonna scan his face and then he has all his settings set to what he wants them to be. Quick interruption before this video is gonna end. We are at Amsterdam airport and actually more or less found a way to get home. Not with Lufthansa so, because they actually annulated, canceled all the flights that we had. Uh, so now we're switching to KLM and that hopefully gonna take us home. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was entertaining as I always say and see you in the next video, which Hopefully it's gonna be very soon. Justin sagt tschüss. Tschüss.